Your Excellencies, the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Foreign Ministers, SCO Secretary General, Director SCO Rats, dear colleagues, a very good morning to all of you. It is a great pleasure to welcome you in Goa to the meeting of the SCO Council of Foreign Ministers. I am especially delighted to host you under the first ever Indian Presidency of the SCO. India attaches great importance to the development of multifaceted cooperation in the SCO and to the promotion of peace, stability, economic development, prosperity, and closer interaction between our people. As the chair of the SCO, Prime Minister Modi has articulated India's priorities as moving towards a secure SCO. Secure stands for security, economic development, connectivity, unity have remained our priority in the course of our work as the chair of SCO this year. I'm pleased to inform you that under our ongoing presidency, we have successfully concluded more than 100 meetings and events, including 15 ministerial level meetings, and we have received the enthusiastic participation from member states, observers, and dialogue partners of SEO as well. Many of the events hosted by India were first time events in the framework of the SEO. Excellencies, it is gratifying to note that the further deepening of the bonds of friendship and cooperation in SEO and events like the SEO Millet Food Festival, Film Festival, Cultural Showcase at Suraj Kun Mela, the SEO Tourism Mart, Conference on Shared Buddhist Heritage, were all successfully hosted by India. I am particularly delighted to note that Varanasi, as the first SEO cultural and tourist capital for 2022-23, hosted several colorful events with active participation from member states. As SEO Chair, we have initiated an unprecedented engagement with SEO observers and dialogue partners by inviting them to participate in more than 14 socio-cultural events. Dear colleagues, as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic and geopolitical upheavals, the world is today facing a multitude of challenges. These events have disrupted global supply chains leading to serious impact on the supply of energy, food, and fertilizers, and cascading effects on developing nations. These crises have also exposed a credibility and trust deficit in the ability of global institutions to manage challenges in a timely and efficient manner. These challenges, however, are also an opportunity for member states of the SCO to collaborate and address them collectively. With more than 40% of the world's population within the SCO, our collective decisions will surely have a global impact. Excellencies, while the world was engaged in facing COVID and its consequences, the menace of terrorism continues unabated. Taking our eyes off this menace would be detrimental to our security interests. We firmly believe that there can be no justification for terrorism and it must be stopped in all its forms and manifestations, including cross-border terrorism. The channel of finances for terrorist activities must be seized and blocked without distinction. Members need not be reminded that combating terrorism is one of the original mandates of the SCO. The unfolding situation in Afghanistan remains at the center of our attention. Our efforts should be directed towards the welfare of the Afghan people. Our immediate priorities include providing humanitarian assistance, ensuring a truly inclusive and representative government, combating terrorism, 
and drug trafficking, and preserving the rights of women, children, and minorities. India has always stood for multilateral approaches to addressing global challenges and has always been a willing partner in sharing our expertise and experience. In this regard, India's own achievement in the field of startups and innovation is a remarkable journey. Today, there are more than 70,000 startups in India, of which more than 100 are unicorns. We stand ready to share our experience with member states. Colleagues, in this context, I would like to express my gratitude to all of you for supporting India's proposal of creation of two new working groups on startups and innovation and on traditional medicines this year, last year. I'm happy to note that the regulations to op operationalize these working groups have been approved by member states. Excellencies, SCO is in its third decade of existence and this is an opportune time for its reform and modernization to keep the organization relevant in a rapidly transforming world. I'm pleased to note that the discussions on the issues of reform and modernization of the organization have already commenced. I assure you that India will extend its constructive and active support for this process. I also seek the support of member states for the long-standing demand uh, of India to make English as the third official language of the organization. This will enable a deeper engagement with English-speaking member states uh, of the SCO and will take the work of this organization to a wider global audience. I'm happy to note that the, pro the progress on ongoing process for the admission of Iran and Belarus as full members of the SCO. I thank the Secretariat for their efforts in that direction. Similarly, I'm delighted that four new dialogue partners will sign the MOU for their association with SCO today in Goa. We welcome our new dialogue partners and hope to intensify engagement with them in the SCO format. Excellencies, India has proposed a New Delhi Declaration as an SEO summit declaration and four other thematic joint statements on cooperation in de-radicalization strategies, promotion of millets, sustainable lifestyles to address climate change and digital transformation. I seek your support in timely finalization of these documents for approval by our leaders at the SEO summit. It's great to see you here. Thank you for watching our work. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to Mojo Story and support independent, robust journalism.